Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about type promotion in Dart. With type promotion, Dart automatically convert the value of one type to another. Now let me share my screen and let's learn more about type promotion in Dart with examples. Okay, here you can see in important information about type promotion in Dart. Type promotion in Dart means that that automatically converts a value of one type to another type that does this when it knows that the value is of a specific type okay here you can see types of type promotion in that works in the following ways okay in it works in two ways one is promoting from general type to specific subtype Another one is promoting from knowledgeable type to non-knowledgeable type. Okay, uh, we'll uh, go through example of each. Okay, uh, first let's let's learn about promoting from general type to specific subtype. Okay, uh, I'll just open Visual Studio Code and let me create one file that is promo dot dot. Okay. Okay, now let me write main method. Okay, I'll say type promotion in that. Okay, let me write object and let me write a variable name is name and I'll say Vishwaraj. And let me find the length of name, okay? If I say name dot length, then it will not work, okay? Because the getter length is not defined for the type object, okay? If you write a string here, then it will work. If you write object, then it will not work. So what is happening? But if you write here one condition, that is if name is a string then it will work you can also write curly bracket to be more clear okay this will work here if name is a string then it will automatically promote from object type to string type okay in string type we can easily find the length of that string this is the thing Okay, if I run this program, let me run this program dot promo dot dot. Okay, here you can see nine got printed. Okay, now uh, here you can see in this example, the variable name is declared as an object. Object can be anything. It can be a string. It can be integer or anything. The object class doesn't have a length property. Variable name gets promoted from object to string so that you can access the length property of a string class okay here after writing if name is string it will automatically promoted from object to string okay here is another example type promotion uh, in dart okay uh, here is another example of type promotion in dart here you can see here is result uh, variable and if date time dot now dot hour is less than 12 then the result is good morning else the result is good afternoon then we at the end we are just printing the result okay let's do this example i will uh, create a new file and i'll say promo to dot dot okay promo to dot dot and let me write main method and then let me write string result okay what happen if i try to print the result okay it will not work because we need to pass the value okay let me write if condition okay if result is equal to is equal to or i will say if date time dot now dot hour is less than 12 then i will say result is equal to result is equal to 
गुड मॉर्निंग एल्स आल से रिजल्ट इज इक्वल टू गुड आफ्टर नून ओके नाउ हेर कैन सी प्रिंट रिजल्ट इट वर्क्स ओके इफ आई रन दिस प्रोमो टू डॉट डाट देन यू कैन सी गुड आफ्टर नून गॉट डिस्प्लेड ओके इफ यू सी हियर हेयर इज इफ कंडीशन एंड हेयर इज एल्स कंडीशन इन बोथ ऑफ द कंडीशन वी आर असाइनिंग वैल्यू टू दिस रिजल्ट वेरिएबल सो दैट हंड्रेड पर्सेंट नोज इट दैट योर रिजल्ट नेवर बिकम नल ओके सो इट विल जस्ट प्रिंट द रिजल्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड टाइप प्रमोशन बिकॉज हियर इट इज प्रमोटेड टू वैल्यू एंड वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग दैट वैल्यू ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टाइप प्रमोशन विथ नॉलेबल टू नॉन नॉलेबल टाइप ओके लेट्स क्रिएट वन मैथड ओके आई एल जस्ट क्रिएट वन मैथड आई एल जस्ट रिमूव दिस वन एंड लेट मी क्रिएट वन मैथड वेड प्रिंट नेम ओके एंड लेट्स पास स्ट्रिंग हियर एंड आई विल से प्रिंट नेम ओके एंड लेट्स सी द एग्जाम्पल हियर ऑल्सो ओके एंड आई विल मेक इट नॉलेबल स्ट्रिंग ओके एंड लेट्स चेक द कंडीशन इफ नेम ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द लेंथ ऑफ दिस नॉलेबल स्ट्रिंग ओके प्रिंट नेम डॉट लेंथ ओके दिस विल नॉट वर्क आई से प्रिंट नेम हेलो एंड दिस विल नॉट वर्क बिकॉज हेर यू कैन सी द प्रॉपर्टी लेंथ कैन नॉट बी अनकंडीशनली एक्सेस बिकॉज द रिसीवर कैन बी नॉल ओके बट इफ यू राइट वन कंडीशन हियर इफ नेम इजिकल टू इजिकल टू नॉल देन यू कैन जस्ट रिटर्न ओके एंड प्रिंट नेम डॉट लेंथ ओके दिस विल ऑटोमेटिकली इफ दिस इफ कंडीशन हैपेन्स देन इट विल रिटर्न नथिंग ओके इफ इट डजेंट हैपन इफ दिस कंडीशन डजेंट हैपन देन इट डैट मेक्स श्योर दैट इट इज नॉट नॉल सो इट विल प्रिंट द लेंथ ऑफ दैट स्ट्रिंग ओके इफ आई रन दिस प्रोग्राम here you can see five got printed okay okay i'll say print name or i'll say print length okay print length okay okay here you can see five got printed what happens if i write null here okay if i write null here then it will do nothing because it will return nothing this is the thing and uh, here is also same example you can also throw the exception if that is null just you can also throw the exception just like throw exception name must not be null that is the exception and if i run this program then it will uh, print that exception okay Here you can see exception name must not be null. Okay, in this way you can promote uh, that automatically promote uh, nullable to non-nullable type. Okay, here this is uh, nullable text, but it will automatically promote it to non-nullable. Okay, here is also another example type promotion with Nullable type to non-nullable types. Okay, let's do this example. I'll create a new file that is promo three dot dat. Okay, here is class data provider. Okay, let's create a class.
class that is data provider provider and here is one getter okay here is one getter which is responsible okay we need to import this one okay uh, okay this getter is string or null this will either provide a string that is hello or provide null okay that is the uh, we don't know what uh, it will provide okay let's write main method void main and let's print data provider dot string data provider dot string or null okay now if i run this program that promote three dot that okay here you can see null got printed if i run this program again hello got printed okay in some situation it will print not not in some situation randomly it will print hello or null okay if i run this again here you can see null if i run it again null if i run it again null if i run it again hello you can you can uh, can't exactly say this will print this one okay now here you can see one method void my uh, my method okay let's uh, also do this one i'll say void my method okay okay this is fine and here you can see if value is a string we need to check it here if value okay first we need to find a value string or null okay if i'll say string or null is a string then i'll just print a string or null dot length this will not work okay else i'll just print it is null okay okay why uh, it is not working okay because uh, this can be we can also write here a string or null is equal to uh, okay there is no, no no option to assign a value but uh, you can do like this one you need to make a separate variable okay a string result is equal to you can just write a string or null here okay a string or null and you need to write question mark here and if result is a string then you can just print result dot length or you can just print it is null okay let me run the program that is promote three dot that here you can see null got printed if i run this again hello got printed we need to also change this one okay main method okay uh, we need to only call data provider dot my method okay let's call data provider dot my method okay if i run this program here you can see five got printed and if i run this program again it is null got printed again it is null got printed five got printed five got printed okay in this way uh, you can see uh, this uh, result is automatically uh, if a result is a string then uh, it will automatically promote it to the string type or uh, it will just print it is null this is called type promotion in that i hope you understood about type promotion in that if you have any question then comment down below if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends i will see you in the next video thank you